Good morning, good citizens of the earth and beyond. Tuesday is here. How was your Tuesday? Mine's just getting started. We're gonna go and drive some trucks today, so it's gonna be a good day, obviously. trailer first. Hook up and uh, we'll start our day. Oh, 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 it's bumpy. All of the snow was soft yesterday and it created tracks in the snow and ice from cars driving over it and then it froze overnight and now it's just a rodeo driving through the parking lots everywhere. <laughs> Probably gonna melt more today. Just your mirrors, come on. There you go. Wait for it. Oh, oh. Oh, there it is. There it is. Hooked up. Let's go make sure everything's working. We're gonna be on our way. I believe we are headed into Winnipeg. in the heart of Winnipeg. I wonder what that new skyscraper is. I think we talked about that last time already, right? They're building something over there. Something's going on, Winnipeg's getting on the map. I think it's condos, because it has balconies going all the way up there. See, it's sort of hiding behind the TD building there. Condos, if you want to live right in the heart of Winnipeg and have a little box in the sky to call your own, there you go, they're putting one in the sky for you. Put your name down, you're gonna go quick, I bet. Probably only for the low price of like $3,000 a month. Who knows, maybe more. See how lucky you get. I have no idea what that is, I'm just joking around. We're gonna turn on to Portage Avenue here. So we're headed south down Main Street right now, we're facing south. We're gonna turn right at Portage and Main. This is the most famous intersection in Manitoba. This is a big historical intersection here. Uh, it's right close to the Forks, which has been a trading ground for thousands of years, actually. A lot of history there. That's a whole video all on its own. This is Portage Avenue to our right. Most directions in Winnipeg start off with, uh, or end with, <laughs> take Portage Avenue to such and such. Our Winnipeg Jets Arena is coming up here on the left. That's the home of the Stanley Cup. It hasn't actually come home yet. It's like the prod prodigal son. Uh, we're waiting for him to come home, but uh, 
so far he's out partying with other cities and stuff around the continent and whatever we're okay with that you know go have your fun but you know Stanley eventually you're gonna have to come home we got a nice spot waiting for you right here you go past this tall building on the left here that's the Radisson Hotel and then uh, right after those lights there that building with the funny shaped roof Bell MTS place that is the true home of Stanley the Cup and one day he will come home one day probably long before he ever gets to Toronto <laughs> believe it or not I actually like driving a big truck through downtown and through uh, city centers maybe just this one because I'm familiar with this one uh, Winnipeg is my second home. I don't live in the city. I don't want to, but I know it like the back of my hand because I've I grew up delivering here. My first job was delivering pizza in the city. My second job was delivering Pepsi. We uh, went all around uh, Winnipeg and surrounding areas in the countryside, and I got to know the truck routes of the city very well. And then after that, I started doing long distance and la da da, bada bing, here we are doing what we're doing today but all of that experience I gained in the past is paying off now doing this but I actually like driving through the city I like seeing the sights I love going to visit big cities uh, me personally I don't I wouldn't want to live in one maybe like a suburb way out in the outskirts of a city but you know I used to live right downtown here just off to our right I used to live on the 7th uh, or ninth floor. I think it was the 7th floor of one of the buildings there. And it was an experience. I lived there for a year. It was an experience, but I don't really want to go back and do it again. But that's just me. I mean, some people love the city, and that's totally okay, too. I totally understand because of the convenience, right? Everything is right close by. You got transit if you need it. I like the peace and quiet. I like to be able to see the stars at night. Not that we can see many from our town, but uh, at our land where we're gonna build our house. It's nice and peaceful there, and the, the stars and Milky Way galaxy from there is just, you can't beat that. You get to truly appreciate the world around you when you can see it at night, if that makes sense. <laughs> but you'd, be, you'd be amazed in the big cities because of all the light pollution. You'd be amazed at what you're missing in the sky beautiful and it's a real shame that some people grow up and you'll live their whole lives without actually seeing the, in, the the whole sky the whole star system and Milky Way galaxies at night I know I'm a bit of a geek but hey what I make videos on the internet you already knew I was a geek I'm sort of like both a little bit of a, a little bit of a blue-collar geek we're rare but we exist so I gotta go down near Polo Park here into St. James, which is just down Portage Avenue here. Like I said, all, all directions are uh, include Portage Avenue to this place. So we're taking Portage Avenue to St. James. And I gotta go put some stuff in my trailer and then we gotta head out and deliver it as far as I know. I don't think anything else will be going in today. Should be good. Yeah. Nice. So we got this one skid back here. We got uh, a whole bunch of this up here. This is my whole load today. That's all I'm gonna be pulling. It takes up a lot of the trailer because we have to leave this pipe at the back so that they can drag it out of the back. If I push it all the way into the front here, it's gonna be almost impossible to drag it all the way to the back because these frames as you saw there these frames are, are not very strong i don't trust them at all like, and that's got to hold it together because if that breaks all of these pipes just go all over the trailer so it already makes me a little nervous the way they it's in there but i'm gonna tie it down now and uh Head on out. 
This is making me nervous. I don't want it to collapse and all these pipes to go all over the place. That'd be a disaster. I'm just going to set you guys down here. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna try to make that right. See if I can without snapping that down, you know? Better, straighter. Okay, fixed it so that the weight is straight down. Now I'm gonna put the strap over these pipes here so that they push down on this, which will push down on this, which will push down onto the floor. Okay, so with these straps going over that here, they got a strong metal band on there as opposed to these little plastic bands. So those pipes shouldn't come out. But with this holding this down, putting pressure on here, puts pressure on here, puts pressure down there. That'll hold it in place. Plus, I'll put some bars in front of this little thing here, yet, just in case I gotta slam on the brakes for a deer or some crazy person giving me a brake check. You never know. Whatever it takes, eh? So this is nice and tight here. Putting pressure down on there. We could probably do one more click. Nope, nope, that's tight. Okay, that's tight. Just making sure. Okay. Then we got this here. This one's tight, putting pressure down on this here. That's not moving, not going anywhere. All right, let's go. You didn't move, did you? So tight. Right on. All right, so I'm at the place where I need to drop this stuff off. I'm just waiting for them to get their uh, skid steer over here. I don't know how they're gonna unload this stuff. It's gonna be uh, a little awkward. But I better get my straps off of it. It'll be uh, much easier for them to unload it once I get the load securement off. Did it touch the bars at the front? Nope. Good, that means it didn't slide. I didn't have to hit the brakes or anything real hard. break right now I think it's about 1 30 I didn't exactly look at the clock when I came in here but I know it's after lunch unless they have a late lunch here who knows hello I have some stuff for you I have it right here all you have to do is figure out how to get out of the trailer went to a little bit of a different location here but they have a outdoor loading docks I just pulled it out this far and they're going to come around with another machine with a boom arm and uh, come up beside it there, grab it from the side and then lift it off. Pretty jam. 
Yeah, sometimes it takes a little bit of creativity. Get right off the truck. What are your orders? Frank, tell me. Hi. Show off your new hair color. She's got her hair done today. You look great. Makes her look super tanned. And it's winter time. So I got off work early. She's watching a little bit of what's this, Parks and Recreation? Yeah. It's a new show that. It's actually really funny. It's not new. No, it's not new. Well, it's a new one we're in, new to me anyways. She's sort of been watching it while I work on my videos. Diesel's been very busy guarding the house. And the other one over here is being an introvert and uh, doing what he always does. How do I get this light on in here? There we go. Chevy likes it in here because it's quiet. And then he can be alone, right? Look at that tail. You like it when I come visit you every now and then? Okay, start. Okay, okay. Enough, enough licking. I love you too, buddy. Yeah. Good boy. So yeah, uh, it was a short day today. Actually, I got done a lot earlier than I usually do. So I'm at home, finishing up the video, and the sun's not even down yet. And the lighting in the backyard, I think we've talked about it already a couple of times, right? Works out really well. It'll be very nice for bonfires during the summer too, when we have bonfire. What's on the menu tonight? We are having... Zucchini noodles. Sorry, I have to think what they're called. Zoodles. Zoodles? With mushroom and spinach alfredo and shrimp. Sounds delicious. Very it's healthy. Well, maybe not the Alfredo part, but the rest of it's pretty good. It's my choice. Just well, putting that out there. Just putting it out there. My the idea. Fettuccine Alfredo was your choice, and I suggested why don't we do Zoodles because it's healthier. So, discount Zoodles it is. They expire tomorrow, but I'm using them today. So, what's all in there? Like other than that Spinach, stuff? mushrooms, and Alfredo, and I cooked the moisture out of both of them so it wouldn't be too watery. Okay. And then I'm gonna throw the shrimp in there oh, and cook that? it. Garlic. It's a garlic. Lazy person's garlic. Mm, no vampires in here tonight. Put that in with the zoodles. It's a little hot. A little hot. So yeah. like she was saying before the zoodles are they're like they're they, zucchini. 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 I'm gonna try it. You just substitute the pasta with vegetables, so you're getting more vegetables in, no carbs, and you don't get that guilty bloat. I told her I'll try it. And if it's as bad as it sounds. I've eaten it quite a bit, and honestly, I just don't feel like garbage after I eat, so it's nice. Yeah, it is healthier for you. It's We're not like trying vegan diets or anything. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> That response. <laughs> I said the word. Don't ever say that word in my presence again. Please. So these are what they are. They're uh... they're just spiral zucchini. Usually they're thinner than this, but for some reason, President's Choice doesn't make them very well. It's a bad cut, but that's okay. Yeah, usually they actually look kind of like noodley. Yeah, they're uh, they're spaghetti. No, not spaghetti squash. I make that too with spaghetti sauce, but uh, their butternut squash looks more like noodles. Hmm. Well, it smells delicious. Would you agree? I just want to start <laughs> eating better just in case I'm pregnant or get pregnant anytime soon. I want a healthy pregnancy and I don't want to gain a whole bunch of weight because I've already done that, so I don't want to continue. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. We like food. It is what it is. There's been nothing to do but eat since this whole COVID thing happened. You yeah, don't have to do anything except eat. Right, Commander? He likes food too. It's your fault. Oh. Don't blame you. You're the commander. You're in charge. La piece de resistance. Ooh, French. 
I know, right? I like it when you speak French to me. You only want to put shrimp in for about five minutes, as long as it's pre-cooked, of course, because shrimp gets overcooked real quick. Oh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Caught him myself this morning. Really? You went over to the Atlantic and uh, went shrimp boat fishing? Yeah. Yeah. Went out there on the high seas, battled a few sharks and a whale. Made it back in time for dinner. Yep, yeah, and I delivered some stuff. You thought I was just a trucker? He's a man of many, many talents. It's funny because I hate the ocean. I, I hate it. That's Me a too. strong word and I hate it. I like standing on the edge of the ocean on land. Yeah. <laughs> I like going a little into the ocean, but nowhere where I can't touch the ground and nowhere where a shark has been seen in the last 2,500 years. <laughs> so no oceans. Just the Everything in the ocean wants to sting you or kill you or bite you or stab you. Yeah. We don't belong in the ocean. Nope. I don't know. And it tastes disgusting. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> I like fresh water. Freshwater lakes. I'll go out on the lakes. Lot safer. Mm -hmm. So this is the finished product. Fettuccine Alfredo. Shrimp fettuccine uh, Alfredo, right? Zoodle Alfredo. Zoodle Alfredo. So like we said, usually they're a little bit more noodly, but this time uh, it's not. So just a bit of a different texture. I'm gonna take a quick little bite here. All the flavor without the guilt. Let's see, let's see. Definitely doesn't taste like fettuccine alfredo. No. But it's, it's not bad. It tastes good. Yeah. It tastes really good. Yeah, okay. A little bit of a different crunchy texture. Definitely tastes good though. Good job. So I got the husband's stamp of approval. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, that's hard to get when you add that many veggies into one plate. And no that's carbs. A, well, very little carbs. Highly sought after stamp. It's the <laughs> Trucker Josh stamp of approval. <laughs> it's only it's only uh, been applied to a few things in, in, in life. Just all of your wife's cooking so far. Mostly. So far. Yes. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna enjoy this now. Hope you enjoy your supper. Hope you enjoy your evening. And we'll see you tomorrow.